Cowbog Farm's the main farm in the business and it's on a secure tenancy that we've had since 1938. We've got two other farms that we farm over, Shieldstock Braes and Otterburn, that are on grazing contracts and short-term let. And we also contract farm uh, 60 hectares up there as well for our landlord's Roxburgh estate. We have 100 head of pedigree Hereford cattle and sell their progeny mainly for breeding but probably half for fattening as well. We've had the pedigree herd of Hereford cattle since 1955 when my grandfather started them. We've also got 200 acres of arable ground which is predominantly spring barley, winter barley and quite a lot of land now in conservation scheme as well. We've been involved in conservation schemes for 20 plus years now and worked them into how we manage the farm. We've fenced off a lot of water courses which not only helps the environment from deaf use pollution point of view, slowing up the speed of the rivers, but also helps us in terms of a lot of double fences so we can put management groups beside each other and it also reduces a, a fluke risk as well we've found. On the arable side we've fenced off a lot of sort of corners of fields that are sort of awkward from a management point of view and a lot of the sort of poorer land has gone into wild bird covers which are left all year round and we, we feel rewarded from doing this um, because you know we see the benefit over the winter and um, some nesting areas as well. Because of the size of the farm we've got a few small fields so we've made management a little bit easier by putting some large grass margins around the fields and these mean larger modern machinery doesn't have to turn in tight corners but we've also made them big enough that we can utilise them either through grazing or hopefully in the future maybe a bit of rough hay or silage from them. We applied to be monitor farmers. I guess, like everybody, we're looking uh, over the hill and changes are coming and uh, changes to the business as well. Changes that we wanted to make to the business. And it's probably easier having a group of people around the table to discuss those with rather than trying to make them ourselves. I think it, it, it's very good to have people on the farm uh, Hopefully they all learn something from us and especially we all learn from them. I do think that what Robert's developing is very positive and I'm sure it's the way we should go just to help us in the future. Looking at succession as well has been a key point to us to start with and business structure. So having firm foundations to go forward for the next five years is key I think. In conjunction with the farm, we run an agritourism business called Wilson's Farm and Kitchen, and that is very much focused on utilising a lot of the produce on the farm, both from the farm, like the beef and the, the lamb from our small hobby flock, the sheep, and a lot of the garden as well. I've got a polytunnel there as well. So it's utilising that by uh, producing sort of pop-up dining experiences for people, and they're often linked to a farm tour. So there's a bit of an educational or learning piece there for people who want to know more about their food choices. So far in the programme we've, we've thoroughly eval evaluated the business, where our strengths and weaknesses are through our uh, integrated land management plan. And that's been really beneficial to us to try and make a plan to go forward, especially we're looking at changes to subsidies. Having our management group there to discuss that with has been very worthwhile and I would say that's been the biggest help so far. Certainly this dry summer, having a thorough look at our grazing as well, has seen us utilise grass better. We're, we've been struggling last year and the year before, and I felt, feel we're a, in a better place this year with the, the cattle still having grass in front of them that maybe didn't have previous years. It's tricky to be 100% positive at the moment because we've got a lot of changes coming. And I think farmers, by their very nature, adapt and we'll adapt as well. But I think in one way we're lucky that uh, we're involved in the Monitor Farm project and that we can discuss these because they won't just be concerns that we have that lead to a de decrease in positivity. So it's good to share them and uh, people can share their views and, and how, how to improve things, how to manage things so you can remain, remain more positive.